Welcome to Excel hack number two. During this demo, I'm going to demonstrate how you can take a simple list, like what you're looking at in front of you. I've got a list about employees, employee ID, first name, last name, department, email, got all the headers there at the top of my list. Now you can take a simple list like this and remove any empty rows quickly. Now, I'm sure at some point or perhaps in the future, you're going to experience or have experienced going through and deleting rows manually. Well, I want to show you a really quick, a really efficient way to select all those empty rows and delete them in just a few mouse clicks. Take a look. Your first step is you got to select the list that you want to remove the empty rows from, or empty columns for that matter. So I'm going to go ahead and select my list. And a really quick way to do this, I'm going to press Control Shift on my keyboard and the End key, E-N-D, end. What this will do, control shift and end, will jump you all the way down to the last cell within that range of data. So you can see now I've selected from A1, there it is, all the way down to H50. I've got all the way to the end of this data set. Now once that's selected, I now want to identify the empty rows. Well, I'm gonna to go to my home tab, far right. I'm going to go to find and select. Underneath find and select there's a feature called go to special. Now if you've never used go to special I highly recommend this feature and here's one reason. Inside of go to special we're going to find several things that we can essentially find and select within your Excel document. Special items. One of them is blanks. I want to go to and select just the blanks within this range of data. I'll select blanks, I'm gonna hit okay, and you'll notice that the blank rows are now selected. And all I need to do now is delete them. And I'm gonna give you a shortcut key, control minus on your keyboard. And I'm gonna say, delete the entire row. Okay, and they're gone. That simple. Select the range of data that you want to identify the blanks within, Go to Home, go to Find and Select, go to Special, find the blanks, and delete them. If you've ever done this manually, much, much more efficient. There's hack number two.